Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 2nd, 2022. Well, doggone it, while we were kind of hoping for a second day in relief rally, those bears came roaring back, creating some ugly, ugly um, situations here in our index markets. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Um, first thing I want to mention to everyone is if you haven't seen it yet, we are having our open house in Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options today. So if you um, are interested in joining us for a couple of days of free training and lots of great information, please make sure and click the link just below the title of the video. Make sure you get registered. We will begin before the market opens today. So hopefully we will see you there. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, as you can see, obviously pretty ugly situation here in the Dow with that big old bear candle right in there. The good news is it didn't take out the 2022 lows. The bad news is, is we failed at price resistance again in the chart. And um, that's a pretty ugly failure overall, taking, um, taking into account that this was a lower high and we made a lower low. So officially we are continuing um, a downtrend here um, on, the, on this um, index chart. And it is pretty darn ugly. Now, if we can get some bullish action in here, uh, we could push up above that level in there. I think we're gonna need something special to get that done. And please keep in mind, if we do rally, we still have this downtrend we have to deal with as well. Pretty sharp downtrend. Oftentimes we can push right through those, but we'll want to be watching that pretty closely. Unfortunately, the overall downtrend that we had kind of broken to the upside, we also officially failed here on Friday. So pretty, pretty damaging uh, technical situation here in the chart. And if we take a look at our uh, technicals, notice our 34 EMA is pushing back down, um, close to running through a cross down through that 50 day and adding that additional pressure to the chart. We have a 500 day moving average on below. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way down there, but certainly a bearish looking chart with lots of resistance levels above that we're going to have. Those, those bulls are just gonna have a heck of a job in here with all the, the data coming our way uh, to try and push us back up through those areas. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, unfortunately, our SPY, really was a, a, well, pretty damaging, noticing that we broke down through this area and we came down here and we tested the 2022 lows. Um, not able to get much going here. Obviously, we continue in this downtrend um, with lower highs um, followed by lower lows. So pretty ugly in this chart um, overall with lots of resistance above. We're gonna need something special. And with an FOMC meeting this week on Wednesday, it's not uncommon guys to see a lot of just choppiness in the market. So if those bulls can get inspired, we could push up through this little level right here um, pretty easily, I think. And, and then um, that opportunity that we could start testing this next resistance and downtrend here in the chart. But once again, if those bears re-engage, and there is every reason to believe that they could with the uncertainty out there, um, we could drop on through and make new lows here uh, in 2022 on the SPY. If we take a look at those technicals, obviously our technicals here are not good at all with the 3420 EMA crossing down through the 50. Obviously we're on the wrong side of things. We've got a lot of work to do to start to repair these charts. Our QQQ, very similar. And unfortunately QQQ went on through and set new lows for 2022, continuing this downtrend. And obviously if we can hold that low of Friday, then we, 
might catch a little bit of relief to bounce us back up into these resistance areas but i gotta tell you there's going to be a lot of effort needed to push us up through there and the question is whether our earnings are going to be helpful enough to get us back up through these areas and and i think um, there's a lot of uncertainty about that um, so far um, even today as we're pulling back from some of the pre-market highs so just watch that closely our technicals here are obviously pretty dismal with the 200 day moving average below its 500 day now that possibility does exist that we could bounce back up and, and like i said test that resistance area in that 500 day up in here but uh, watch that close it's going to be a little bit difficult for them to get things moving with an fomc meeting um, uh, wednesday this week so we'll take a look at that in just a second now our russell also, our Russell um, broke on down and failed our 2022 lows to take make new 2022 lows um, and continuing to set new lows after lower highs. So pretty ugly situation in the chart. Once again, if we can get some reason for bullishness here, then we may have that opportunity to bounce up and start testing some of these resistance levels. But I think about all we can really expect at this point is a little bit of relief rally. We, we are overdue for that, and hopefully we can get a little bit of follow through to the upside. If we can uh, take a look at those technicals on this chart, obviously, really really ugly with our 34 EMA crossing down through the 500 day moving average our 50 day moving average turning that way as well so we could easily soon see that 50 crossing down through that 500 pretty ugly chart here in the Russell and then if we take a look at our VIX well obviously our VIX continued to move higher on Friday with that selling if there is some good news in this chart, it's just that we didn't quite break out of these um, these highs here in volatility. But certainly there's quite a little bit of fear um, in the market. And we'll wanna watch this area closely. Um, any rest or pullback that pulls back in around that 25 handle area, that's where we'll see a little bit of price support. Um, if we spike through here, remember guys, if we push up through these levels, in this chart, it is entirely possible that the um, institutions could really change their tune and really start to see selling. And one of the things we have to start considering here in the market with all of the technical damage done in the chart, we could very, very soon begin to see some forced redemption coming in as folks call into their mutual fund companies and say, get me out. Folks calling into their 401ks saying, get me out. We could easily begin to see some forced redemption starting to occur in the market as well if that panic continues to spike up. So watch carefully. We probably should expect intraday whipsaws and overnight reversals to continue as this uncertainty continues to unfold. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Now this gives us our best hope of a um, little bit of a relief rally. We're right back down here in that bearish reversal zone as you can see scraping along the bottom and i gotta tell you whenever you look at t2122 we can linger in an area for a period of time we saw a period down here where we lingered in the downside of t2122 but for the most part um, down in this area we're going to start finding some reason to catch a little bit of relief so watch for that possible bounce here at any time the problem that we're going to have, guys, is, is I'm not sure we can really trust it to be sustained. Um, we may relieve, relieve a little bit, but it'll probably be a challenging um, relief just simply because of that FOMC meeting coming on Wednesday. Look for a lot of choppy price action. If we take a look at our T2108, um, our T2108, obviously, didn't help us at all on Friday. We rallied back up here to test this resistance level Thursday, but then continued to reverse. Only 27% of our stocks holding above the 40 day moving average. That's hard, pretty difficult to look at that as a bullish chart. But you know, on the other side, we still haven't taken out the year's lows. So fingers crossed that they will hold on that. 
or T2107, also pretty dismal. Um, breaking down um, on Friday, pushing back down toward a little bit of price support. But once again, we still haven't made the yearly lows on that yet. So hopefully those bulls are showing just a little bit of tenacity and willingness to fight here a little bit harder than they have before. But we do want to keep in mind only 28% of our stocks holding above our 200 day moving average. Our T2101, obviously those bears continuing to push as we continue to elevate um, in this chart. That momentum has been to the downside. We need to see a little bit of relief in that. We'll want to look right in here. We do have that hope right through that area right there that we could get a little bit of bullishness maybe coming in and that relief, but we'll want to watch that carefully. Take a look at our economic, uh, let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And we do have a busy, busy week on that economic calendar. As I mentioned before, we've got that FOMC meeting that we're going to have to deal with, but we're going to kick off this week um, with a PMI report, an ISM report, and construction spending. We'll also keep want to keep in mind we've got a three and six month bond auction as those bonds are on the rise again here this morning. So watch that closely. We're going to flip over here, motor vehicle sales, factory orders, jobless, um, um, excuse me, job openings report on Tuesday. And then we're gonna hit into the big day of this week with um, mortgage applications, ADP, international trading goods, which has been setting new records as we continue to make less in this country and buy more from other countries. Uh, petroleum status, and then of course, the big thing for the day is that FOMC. And will they be aggressive, or should I say, how aggressive will they be and what will they signal in rate increases moving ahead. We do have an OPEC meeting this week. We've got jobless claims. We've got pr productivity and costs. Of course, a natural gas report and a Fed balance sheet. And peppered throughout here, we've got bond auctions that we'll want to be paying attention to, particularly on Wednesday, already a very busy day. We've got a three-year, a 10-year, and a 30-year bond auction that we'll want to be paying attention to. And then, of course, at the end of the month, we've got the employment situation number. Boy, we've just been, it's just one hit after another um, here lately. Um, so that employment situation number is certainly a market mover and one of those that can create quite a little volatility um, in the price action of the market. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here today. Now our earnings calendar is incredibly busy this week. Um, as a matter of fact, it gets so crazy. Um, we're going to be nearly 400 companies reporting by Thursday. So we really ramp up this week, um, having about 120 or so reporting today. Um, let's take a look at some of those notables. And please keep in mind, guys, if you want the full list of notables, click that link below the title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog. Um, uh, we're going to hear from Car Avis. Um, we'll be in there today. We're going to hear from CC today. We're going to hear from CVI today. That'll be an interesting um, report um, with all of the strength that's been shown in these um, energy stocks. We're also going to hear from Devon. We're going to hear from Fang here today on Diamondback Energy. So we'll want to keep an eye on the, that energy sector. That could be an interesting one to watch. We're going to hear um, from OHI. We've got a little healthcare in there. We've got WMB that will be reporting today. Um, so we've got a full meal deal of um, reports. One that might be interesting today is RIG. RIG has been um, back down in this downtrend be interesting to see if um, these oil prices have started to spur some, um, you know, more drilling um, coming out. We'll want to watch that closely. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, 
If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful, then please do me that favor. Click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That does help the channel to continue to grow. And I thank you so very much for that. Um, let's um, jump right into some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys it's a challenging very very challenging market you're going to have to be very very careful as you navigate these waters because the volatility is high let's take a look at some of those stocks that have been doing pretty well though and holding up although we had um, coca-cola and a lot of the defensive sector stocks were kind of drawn into the selling on friday keep an eye on coca if it can hold this little price support area in the chart and perk back up you could also be keeping an eye on pepsico and it looks like it's already trying to bounce up a little bit this morning in the pre-market um, this had broken out up here um, and then just got sucked into all of the selling on friday and pulled that down but watch it carefully um, keep looking at those um, food related companies look at hershey hershey popping on through this morning this continues to run to the upside all of these defensive sectors stocks are doing much better than many other things in the market and I know they're boring companies they're boring they don't move real fast old companies but at least they're they are in an uptrend be really really careful and I know it's it's pretty common because we want to keep trading the stocks we've known for a long time but I got to tell you um, when we're seeing things like this, what what I believe is going on here in the NASDAQ is the institutions have rotated. They, um, they are not supporting these stocks as strongly as they were before. And at this point, we have not found the bottom. So be really careful looking into these and, and trying to hope and gamble about a rebound in those charts and, and, and maybe stick with some of those stocks that are actually holding up in much better trends um, in this market and, and kind of stay over there where the institutions have obviously been rotating to those areas. Now, some places that you might look for some short trading, take a look at the financials. My goodness, financials um, in a terrible situation here, um, breaking to new 2022 lows on Friday, looking pretty darn ugly overall. And you could certainly start, and I've mentioned these as potential shorts um, last week, um, Citibank uh, continuing to fail, breaking new lows, BAC continuing to fail. Now, I wouldn't want to chase these to the downside, but I sure would be watching for them as they rally back to some price resistance in the chart. And then I'd be looking for that next potential failure to the downside. Banks are certainly in trouble here, um, and we should watch them pretty closely for some more downside. You know, other places that you might, um, you know, take a look at, take a look. Now, Clorox had a um, an earnings report week that kind of bounce down here on Friday but let's watch that carefully there still is that potential opportunity that this could push back up to the upside but uh, it could go either direction so be kind of careful here um, in the, those charts you might want to take a look at some of the pay systems like um, Visa now Visa rallied pretty nicely last week coming up in here to challenge some resistance and it is pulling back um, we need to see this push back up through here if this is going to be long this could easily start to fail and push right back down here into this trend so could go either way on those certainly when we look at stocks like um, PayPal boy that's a brutal chart in here we're trying to hold some lows in here but as you can see long downtrends in those charts still plaguing um, these charts in PayPal um, and things like SQ pretty ugly overall now there are some other places that are starting to show just a little bit of hope that we might be trying to 
pick uh, pick up off of bottoms but I think you're just going to have to be really really careful with them because we are in such a bearish downtrend here in the market um, to be trying to gamble um, on stocks like you know I've heard lots of conversation about AMD AMD is oversold it needs to be bought up well maybe we should wait instead of gambling in here um, why don't we wait just a little bit and see if we can actually get those institutions to start picking up and buying just enough that we can break a downtrend and prove to hold some higher lows before we start coming up because as a matter of fact if you look at this pattern in here in AMD there's every reason to believe that this could whoops that this could just continue to fail along that downtrend so be really really careful trying to predict bottoms um, in the market that is for the institutions to do not for those of us um, that you know retail traders that that's a pretty painful situation we can't ride them down like that um, like an institution can so just be really really careful with trying to pick bottoms in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I hope we'll see you all over in the right way options and hit run candlesticks trading room today. Um, I wish you all of the best, and we'll see you bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care.